you see Seattle doesn't get around the corner fast enough, and Houston exploits them. Nice run by the winger there, and he finds his Fijian brethren to finish it off. You know, say a Kalini Sal. What a Houston was able to hold on to it. Moving it now. Back to Sam Windsor for that kick. It's real high, pretty short. New Orleans picks it up immediately slammed to the ground by Houston. Relax, relax. Referees lose his whistle to break him up a little bit. Still have a nice hurt hit him. though by Vithi, man. He extremely exhausting. As the Seawolves find themselves once again in possession at line out time. Beautiful take comes down to Duchelle. Straight through Duchelle. This is what he does best. And it'll be a straight run to the line for the beast. He reaches. Did he get it? Referee says no. Sensational. Houston keeping it. They take this ball deep and they want to see if they can make something Beathy happen with it. Down the sideline. Look at him go. Beathy, he's got an opening. What a first start for him coming back after his eight game suspension. Nice tackle there to keep him. Now out to Diva. He's had plenty of touches already. Windsor back inside to Vithi, straight through. Will he go all the way? He steps Teo and he's under the post for the first try of the match. There's Diva and then watch this pass back door from Windsor off the blind side. You gotta love when the wing looks for work and that is perfect. Rugby runs pretty deep in Houston. Big passionate fan base there, a lot of good club teams. I'm sure Houston's thrilled to have Major League Rugby in their city. Oh my and goodness. look at the line speed on. Yeah, quick tap and go. Sabercats trying to be optimistic. VC had on. It's a great line out there. A little five-man line out with a bit of movement really opens up and moves some of that defense pressure. And here's the opportunity. Vithi off to the races. Crossed his tees, dotted his try. Taking a clean pass from the hooker right out to the number nine, hooking up with that guy, and there we go, off to the races. And it just as well. We see big Andrew Siniula standing close. 37 years young, one of the oldest players in Major League Rugby. Takes possession right now. Stabs it through. No chases though. Vithi picks this one up. Ball in one hand. Just to a Vithi, like he's done on the Sevens World Series. Beaten four players. V Houston has the ball in the initiative here, attacking, attacking, probing. VC again, no, no, no. Well, they can take advantage of an advantage opportunity here. Still playing it. Off the boot, Winter has the speed to scoop it up. Outside to VC with the creativity. VC off to the races. Just incredible stuff. The stab kick through, beautifully played, Windsor. A great job collecting it over to VC. VC, no way. He says to uh, Tara Mai. Murphy, long pass out to Windsor. Even longer pass, way out wide to VC. Takes on Peterson, beats Peterson. Now Boyer is able to do the job. Peterson comes to clean up after his first days. Or the Sabre Cats. A fortunate hop for Houston. Beefy. Championship. That was essentially a must win for Glendale. If they would have won that match against the Seawolves, they would have held their future in their own hands. They did not. Every Sabre cat touching the ball on this one. And it's Windsor touching it down. Windsor with the try, but quick response from Houston after conceding the try. And oh my, look at that right there. Pangelini. That may have been Coyle, excuse me, Coyle with a beautiful little flip back. And now we are seeing some flying rug. So the Raptors were not able to take advantage of that early knock on deep into Sabre County. Five to three advantage when Davidson dotted it down in the opposite try zone. The strength of Glendale is the backs. They just haven't had opportunities, haven't had touches. When they've had the ball, there have been black jerseys swarm. Yeah.
this time it makes you a better person.